Hi, welcome to Mark D. Maker. My name's Mark Taylor. Today we're going to be looking at cleaning up an old antique. This is an old antique clock that I have. And we're going to be cleaning it up using some very simple products. There's a lot of different ways of doing it. But I took an antique clock restoration class. And just by using some simple hand cleaner, I can clean this beauty up. I'll show you how it's done. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this hand cleaner. And this particular brand of hand cleaner, I haven't tried other brands. This one came highly recommended. It worked for me, so I've stuck with it. Here's how we're going to do it. Take a rag, into the hand cleaner, and it's like a a thick gel, like a like a paste. And we're gonna use it liberally. Just kind of dab it on for a moment here. And we'll, we'll use, we'll go in small sections. Now, I would test this on the back or, or a place that is not that visible and, and try it out first before you go putting it on a very valuable antique. So try it off, try it in a spot that's not going to be obvious. What I'm going to do is simply just rub in a small circular motion. Now I've heard people use like uh, uh, Murphy's oil soap to do restoration on uh, antiques, but most of these old clocks are, are been lamination and you don't want to go put in a water solution on uh, bent lamination. Uh, it's just asking for trouble. Now, all we're doing is cleaning. We're not trying to strip off anything. In the first couple of clocks that I did, I literally sanded them down. Uh, it was a lot of effort, a lot of work, uh, and the results, you know, are however much time you want to put into it. I put a lot of time into it. It came out okay, but I've had just so much better luck with cleaning up my clocks with this hand cleaner. You don't want to alter it, you just want to clean it up. Just wipe it off and we have in wiping it off there's the dirt that we're actually removing that's not stain that is dirt so you want to keep reapplying rubbing it in and wiping it off over and over until you get the results you want there's some dirt that's come off now this particular finish has been more stubborn than I thought. So what I'm using now is triple zero steel wool 
lightly, very lightly. Don't ever go any further than triple zero or, or four zeros. Um, and you can see that it's already bringing back a sheen. Now, this is the original finish. You can see no shine, very matte, dull. And you can almost start to see the wood grain in here. And that's what we're going for, bringing back the natural finish. What, what all this black is, is years and years of old wax and dirt buildup. And we want to take that down without affecting its original finish. We're getting close. You can start to see the grain there. Just a quick word of caution. If you are doing an old clock, you will want to remove this. So there's a little thread here, a little threaded nut that keeps the hands in place. So you want to take those off. This slides off even pressure. It's on a shaft. You can see that. And you want to remove these screws and and the face, which is sometimes paper. This one feels like it's a, a very smooth paper. Uh, you don't want to get that cleaner on on the brass or the numbers. It will it will the it'll dissolve the ink on these numbers and create a smudgy mess, and you don't want to lose that. So these screws off carefully take the face off and then continue with the clock all right i will continue with this very fine steel wool you can either go with the grain which as you're getting closer and closer to the finish i prefer especially with steel wool. Steel wool cuts, it does have a cutting quality to it. Um, with the rag, it's okay to go in a circular motion. With steel wool, I, I would really go with the grain of the wood. It's just a safer bet. You don't want to create all these little micro scratches in the wrong direction. You'll see them. can really feel the difference between up here, which is very smooth, and down here, which is extremely rough. And I can see the uh, white hand cleaners turning brown, removing all the old wax and dirt. The clocks I've done in the past, I've never had to use steel wool before. This is the first time I've had to use the steel wool, so uh, most of the time just a rag and the cleaner. And a circular motion does the job. Just old wax and dirt. Starting to see some very warm brown color. Looks like a little mahogany maybe right here that's hid underneath all this old dirty wax.
So you can see the true color of the wood coming through this old, see down here, it's just almost black. But up here, you can start to see what looks like mahogany wood peeking through. Super smooth to the touch. And this particular clock is the finish that, or the wax that is on it is very tough wax. Um, I have never run across one like this before. But uh, this is the stuff. This is the hand cleaner. I got this off of Amazon. And this is the wax. This is a very superior paste wax to what's available around. Um, I got this on Amazon. Woodcraft sells it. Um, it comes in colors. Clear is nice. You can get them with a, a, a darker stain too, which if you prefer darker furniture, darker uh, wood finishes. All right, I'm gonna, this is the back panel, the back door. Um, and let's give that a try. We'll first start off with the rag and see how just the rag works. That's a brass knob there. Now, if, if you are doing a clock, you want to preserve any paperwork like this. So don't get any cleaner on that label. I found this particular clock in an auction. I paid $12 for it. Do what you have to to protect it. That will add value to your clock. Already I'm starting to see the wood grain here peek through. And this looks like the wax has like, the wax and dirt have created a texture there. So let's see what we can do about that. We'll go with the grain. Already I'm starting to see the hand cleaner turning brown, not from the stain, but from the dirt and the old wax. Now I'm not pressing down very hard to start with. I'm just kind of testing the waters here. Have a little rub. I'll be able to come back and polish that if I want to polish it, but um, I'm going to leave a patina on it. Just get the dirt off of it. can see where it's clean in this area here there's still some wax build up in this area but with a little bit of wax here that is that is gorgeous that almost looks like rosewood beautiful
So here's a peek at a clock that I recently uh, I finished up on. And you can see the, the woodwork in it, the wood grain. Uh, sometimes these surprises just lay under all that black wax. Once this wax, this layer of wax dries, I'm gonna buff it and buff it with a little elbow grease. Get that shine. You want to rub this wax in. And the thing with this wax is you want to really buff it when you're done. And it takes some elbow grease to buff it. But you can get an idea. You know, you can see one, it has a shine. But also, you get a better view down inside where the grain is. I think I could still stand some more cleaning over here and that's fine. I can go back in with my cleaner and a rag because now I'm getting down to the finish. I don't want to put scratch. If you are working on an old clock case like this one you definitely want to remove the screws. And these are just flathead screws that come out real simple. They go right into the wood. This next screw right here, that screw's got to go. That's not original. It's way too big for this frame, so off it goes. In a future video, I will be removing the mechanism, putting it in ultrasonic, cleaning it up, and doing any repairs needed. And it does need repairs. So here you can really see the difference. This part up here has been cleaned. Still needs some more cleaning but is much cleaner than this suction down here. So this is a good example of uh, a clock that I cleaned up. This was completely black. And you can see the aging in the shellac, but yet you can also see the beauty of the wood. You can see the color of the wood. You can see the grain of the wood. That's how it's supposed to be. So I hope this video is useful to you. If you work with antiques, please leave a comment on how you clean up such things. I want this to be a sharing community of information and learning. So please make comments. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.